Alrighty, and here is the video review for the Matty Collector Voltron Force Club, or Club Voltron Force, or Club Lion Force, or Club Voltron is awesome, and everybody should have him. Uh, club. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Um, Blue Lion with Princess Allura. Uh, now, Allura comes in this packaging. She's obviously out of it right now. Uh, but the standard character packaging. Blue Lion, of course, I didn't I didn't bring the box into work. It was just so big and bulky, and I had enough stuff to get into work tonight. Um, but I didn't bring the box. But it's the same, just like all the others. It's the clear plastic box with a diorama of, like, a lake and some shadowy mountains in the background. Um, and really, it didn't show. I mean, like, it was just all kind of dark. Once you get the lion out, you can kind of see a little bit more of, like, the trees and a little bit more color on the lake. But, like, when it shows up, at first you're looking like everybody else came with this nice diorama. And this box was just, when, when before you take the lion out, it just looks like there's just some blue. Just It wasn't the most appealing background. It made sense. And when you get it, you get the lion out, again, you see a little bit more detail and it's kind of neat. But it's, it just it just wasn't as striking in the package. It was just a blue package, unlike some of the other lions that have come out so far. Now, in this box, of course, you get Allura. You get uh, the little key that lets her store inside the cockpit here. Open up the cockpit. We'll go ahead and get her out. Um, now, you see I've already attached her helmeted head here, um, but she does come with... Them. Ah, she also likes to pop apart at the waist. Um, snap her back together. But... Uh, she has come packaged with her non-helmeted head with her hair up in a bun here. And she's on the same level as uh, any of the other previous Lion Force figures. Uh, she's got the same double hinge shoulders, you know, the hinge and swivel at the elbow. Uh, obviously, there's a waist swivel there. Um, and then the double hinge legs and then the hinge and swivel at the knee. Um, I really like these little figures, the little five and a half inch ones. Um, I like the fact that they give you both the unhelmeted and helmeted heads. And uh, for however you want to display it. And again, the, the key does double as a uh, display stand. There's a little peg. So you can have your figure standing on the key as well. Um, she also comes with the next piece of the uh, of the, the blazing sword. Which finally lets you attach the piece that came last time with the hilt itself. Uh, this piece right here. And again, you can't, once you snap it together... I have not found a way to pull it apart. I have not used excessive force yet because I don't want to break it. But once you snap it together, that's pretty much uh, you're pretty much uh, stuck with it together. But it, it, you can see it's uh, this whole piece with the little flares here. Uh, there's you know, it's, it's that piece right there in the middle. So now we finally got a blazing sword. Uh, you can see it's going to be quite large. Um, and then the tip piece comes with Keith. One of the other things that comes in her box is these little pieces. And again, I haven't snapped it together because it looks like when you do... Once you pop this through here, it's going to be really difficult to pop it out, and I don't want to do that yet. But these pieces right here, you can see they kind of lock together right there, but they let you... Uh, I'm assuming the, the second piece is going to come with Keith. Um, but you pull this, put it down, and then you lock it, into, lock it together like this, and it holds the sword, and it does kind of, And there's a little notch in there to hold it right in place. Actually, you may want to... Actually, be to get that little notch there. You put the little notch in the groove there, and you can put this in a stand. And you can put this together, and it'll be a stand for, and there'll be another one that'll attach up here with uh, with Keith. So you can have the sword just on a stand in front of Voltron. Although, again, the problem there is is that once you uh, and may maybe that'll be. An, I just don't see it being wide enough to the tip kind of flares out. I just don't see how they're gonna make it so you can remove the sword once you put it in just because it looks like once you snap this through here and again I haven't done it the way these hooks work just like the sword once you snap that through that's going to be pretty much it so uh, we'll wait and see um, I don't want to lock the sword into the stand obviously because I want to have Voltron hold it at least once before I decide how I'm going to display it so we'll see how that works out but but the stand is included there in the box set with Princess Allura now Blue Lion again uh, comes with uh this, you know, mouth weapon. You can put it in the mouth, rah, 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 and it eats a eats a sword and attacks you with it. <laughs> but the same as all the other lions, it does have its signature blade weapon for the lion itself. And the lion itself is nice and big. I didn't again. I didn't bring any other lions in, but it's about the same size as Yellow Lion with the detailing uh, unique to the Blue Lion, which is the squarer head uh, than the Yellow Lion. Just you know, different tail. 
uh, some different details, but overall the same basic function as the Lion. And again, a transformer, you just flip the head up, uh, flip the legs in, lock them into place, flip the back legs up. It's the first time that's actually popped out on me. I was praising it earlier for being pretty solid. So yeah, lock that into place. Come on. Sometimes you have to really push it in there. Uh, just like that. Come up here. Yeah, there we go. The tail just kind of folds up and in like that. And then there is a panel here on the back to fold down and form a more uh, secure support here. I guess you want to fold these back like that. But whatever, you got a much more secure heel to support the weight of that panel flip down. Support the weight of Voltron himself. And again, here he is. Uh, here's Princess Allura. Right there. You can see a uh, very big... Uh, there's like my hand. I mean, this thing's going to be huge. Um, like, this right here is already like giant is about here, height-wise next to it. So, I mean, it's going to be very large Voltron. And, uh, and certainly you'll see this in comparison with the other um, lions. Because when, when I get Black Lion next month or in two months, believe me, you're going to see Voltron combined, I promise you. <laughs> and then to transform it back, you just flip the heel, this little heel piece up, push this button, and everything kind of pops back. And then you just click it back to where you want it. And then flip the leg out. So now, now Blue Lion's in kind of a hunch here. Let's see if we can get Blue Lion to stand a little better. There we go. There we go. So yeah, there's Blue Lion with Princess Allura. Now, as uh, promised by the club, Blue Lion comes with the club subscription figure, the exclusive figure, and that is Sven. And he comes in his own little white package, and you might notice it looks a little taller and skinnier than most of the uh, the packages come in, and that leads me to my one uh, problem with uh, with this this month's offering for Maddie Collector. Really, the first time I've ever really been upset with Maddie Collector, and it's not it's a minor issue. I'm not like, ah, you know, I'm not you know, I'm not like to the point of like swearing at their Twitter account or anything. Just, um. But here's the thing. Here's Sven. All the other ones, all the other figures and lions come in this nice packaging. Um, if I want to put Princess Allura back in here, I can. Um, same with the lions. I mean, like there are some plastic strips you kind of have to cut to get them out. But I could still redisplay Blue Lion in the nice plastic packaging if I wanted to. And Sven comes in this box. And while it is very attractive packaging, and here's all the you know all the stuff on the the callouts on the back, Sven comes blister carded. Now, I'm probably I know I'm probably going to open him up because I didn't buy this for the uh, for the resale value. I, I bought I, you know, and I signed up for the club versus buying them separate because I specifically wanted Sven to, to pilot Blue Lion instead of Princess Allura. I liked Sven. I remember watching Sven on the old cartoon when it first started. Um, I hate the fact that like now. If I want, if I, if I ever decide I want to display Princess Allura, generally when I'm not using the figures, I put them back in the nice collector packaging because I have it all stored nicely in the corner, and that's a great way to not lose any pieces or remember where my, you know, and I can remember where my figures are, and it's easy to get them. They're right over there in their own box. And I know there are ways to do the blister packaging, but like, I, I pretty much have to destroy his packaging to get him out, which is okay. Like I said, I'll get him out. I want Sven more than I want his cardboard box, but considering we've already gotten all of uh, the other ones in this nice collector packaging, um, I just wish, because had they made a box, you know, even if the box was only this size, they could have they could have used the same amount of plastic for the tray and the bubble and the same amount of cardboard to make, or maybe a little bit more cardboard, but to make a box, you know, only half this size just because, you know, you wouldn't need to have all the space for the blazing sword pieces over here. But I just feel like they could have packaged him in nicer packaging like this in an openable packaging. Um, and he, do, he does have the nice shipper box. You know, like if I cut, you know, if I, if I do decide to gently cut this away so I can lift it up and pull him out, I can still put him back in the bubble and I can still store him in this, which is okay. It, um, it, like I said, it's, it's, not, it's not the most horrible thing. It's just, I was really kind of hoping we'd have Sven 
in the same openable box before. Um, it doesn't matter. He's going to get opened. Um, but you can see he's got the same basic body as, as previous figures. He's got the helmet head, and he also comes with a version of the blue Lion King. Which I guess they didn't have to include that either, but um, but it's kind of nice that they did. So at least he has a stand to display him on when you open him as well. Um, so yeah, he's going to get opened. I just haven't yet. Um, I don't want to do it on camera. It's going to take me some careful time to opening it, but I wanted to have him in the package for the review. So he'll get opened. I just I kind of wish he was in the better packaging. But that's really my only complaint uh, about this whole set. And even then, it's a minor one because, like I said, I still got Sven. I still have the figure. He's still going in Blue Lion. That was really the end result I wanted anyway. <laughs> I just wish it had been a little bit easier to do it uh, without completely destroying. And I guess I can, I can do it without completely destroying. But anyway, now I'm just rambling. But yeah. Um, but there's Sven. Uh, so there's Sven, and there's Blue Lion, and here's Princess Allura, who my daughter is already wondering when she can have her. So we'll see how that goes. But, but yeah, there's the Maddie Collector, Blue Lion with Princess Allura, and the membership-exclusive Sven.